Hey, it's Devin Burke, founder of Sleep Science Academy, and your coach and guide to you getting your best night's rest. So today we're going to be talking about how sleep affects mental health, and it absolutely affects mental health in many ways. So first and foremost, sleep acts as emotional first aid. So when we're, we're well slept, we are emotionally more stable. We're emotionally making better decisions. We feel better emotionally, and we're be better able to interpret emotional events versus when we're underslept. And there's a lot of very interesting studies that sh relational studies that show how sleep drastically affects our emotional well-being. When we're all slept, we are our bodies and our brains are better able to process emotion. And it's, it's, um, you know, it's probably in your experience, you've experienced when you're not sleeping well, you're irritable, you're on edge, you're just more emotional and you're probably just misreading emotions and misreading other people because you're just not fully present on the flip side of that. When we are getting that sleep that we need, we are able to show up emotionally feeling confident, strong, focused, and ready to take on the day. When we're well slept, we make better decisions and tend to be more patient. So obviously, if we're making good decisions and we have a higher threshold for patience, our days are going to be smoother. We're not going to have as many stressful situations or events or when those stressful situations and events happen, we're going to be able to make the best possible decisions, which lead to better outcomes, which then lead to less emotional strain and improved mental health. We have a greater ability to listen and concentrate when we're well rested. So if we have a better ability to listen and concentrate, we have a better ability to communicate and communication is the key to relationships and is communication with yourself is a key to improve mental health and mental stability. You know, there's a lot of studies that show again, sleep and relationship studies that show that men are more likely to fight with their wives in poor sleep. And not just that, there's a lot of studies that just show that when couples, even just one person in the relationship is underslept, both people suffer and there's more relational conflict. And it's, it's really fascinating when you really start to look at some of the, the research that's out there on sleep and relationships and emotions, it really is eye opening and it's not rocket science. I mean, it makes common sense because again, this is probably in your experience. Um, I know it's in mine. So when we're sleep deprived, life feels more chaotic and dark. And this is just, there's a lot of research that links depression and anxiety to poor sleep. And then there is obviously the conversation was well, the chicken or the egg, it, you know, am I not sleeping because I'm depressed or am I depressed because I'm not sleeping? It really depends on your situation. But you know, when we don't get the sleep we need, life feels heavier. It feels more chaotic. It feels darker. It feels more negative. And it's almost like I like to give the analogy that when we're not getting the sleep we need, we have these sort of glasses on and we see the world sort of in this negative dark place. And when we're well slept, it's sort of those glasses come off and we kind of can see the opposite of that. So it's uh, so critical. Less sleep equals more stress hormones. Again, so when we're not getting the sleep we need, stress levels go up. Cortisol, the hormone that is really responsible for the stress in our bodies, that is elevated throughout the day. Um, and and it's really that then gets carried over into the night. So it's, it's so important that we understand the relationship between hormones and sleep and mental health. Really, there, there are so many factors there from insulin to cortisol and things just get out of whack when, again, we're not getting sleep we need and we get the sleep we need, things stable stabilize. The body has this amazing intelligence. It knows how to heal itself. It knows how to stabilize and it knows how to keep itself in homeostasis. It wants to do that. And when the body is in homeostasis, it is good for our mental health because, you know, stability is very, very important for our brains and for our bodies, consistency and stability. Um, and those things come along with, again, getting great sleep. So if you're having issues with your sleep, I want to just invite you to schedule a sleep consultation. There'll be a link below this, this uh, video, or if you listen to this on audio, um, find the link. And we'd love to have a conversation about your sleep and how we might be able to help you. If you're having issues getting or staying asleep and it's affecting your mental health, there is uh, a method and people out there that can help you. We would love to explore if what we do might be right for you. And until next time, sleep well.